Hello guys, hello, how are we doing? Is everyone doing well? Because uh, me, how am I doing? I'm doing great. Well, honestly, I am doing good, but you ever have one of those days where everything feels a little bit off? I'll be honest, I feel like uh, a lot of things around me has been a little bit off today, but, 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 North Lane has decided to drop a new song at the tail end of 2023 titled Dante, and I feel like this is gonna be the highlight of my day, and I really hope so. That being said, I do know one thing about this song, so spoilers, but I have heard that this is probably the most emotional song that North Lane has ever produced. Actually, I'm not sure if it's like the most emotional, but Josh did say on Instagram that no song we have ever written has ever made me feel the way that Dante does. So I'm not sure what that means yet, but we'll figure it out. But I'm really looking forward to this, especially considering I love Obsidian, I love Alien, I pretty much love all the records from these guys. So look, I don't want to waste any more time with this intro, so that's all we need for Chit Chat. So North Lane, Dante. Extension of Obsidian, I'm here for it. Digging the haunts and vocals. Oh, the strobe lights in the background is pretty sweet. Oh shit, what's the archer going to do? Oh, it's going right now. Don't shoot Marcus! Don't shoot him! So far, I'm really digging the vibe of this. It's vibey, it's fancy. It's not really metalcore. I like the second half of Taurus, man.
Ooh. Oh, that sounds sick. No, that's not it, is it? Okay. Okay. Almost clocking in at six minutes, five minutes and 45 seconds. Let's talk about it. Okay, so I'm not going to do pros and cons with this one, just general thoughts, because I feel like this band is kind of evolving their sound and it's going to be a little bit polarizing. No, I can see it being pretty polarizing to the fan base, especially people who do not enjoy Obsidian. So Obsidian to me was actually one of the best records of that year, I believe it was 2021. And I know it was kind of like a weird hot take in the metalcore scene, but I felt like it was such a cohesive record. I felt like the sounds were so unique. And as a fan of both EDM and metal music, I really felt like it was like ear candy a lot of the time. So this means with this song, I did enjoy it. Now I can see why certain people might not like it. People who missed the riffs, who missed the breakdowns. And I really feel like Alien was probably the best record that captures new North Lane with that, those breakdowns and riffy moments. But for me, I guess with my own personal experience with Metalcore is that what else can Northlane do? Because Metalcore is so overdone with so many of the same cliches that I actually respect Northlane trying something different here. So for them to take ideas from Obsidian, a lot of the electronics, a lot more melodic moments, a lot more dancing moments, and no breakdowns or, any, or harsh vocals, I don't mind. I actually like the sounds. It's more expansive. It's more unique. And because of it, I did have a good time with this and I'm not saying like the, there wasn't uniqueness to Alien and stuff. Absolutely there was. But this song was unique too. Sure, it wasn't the most like insane track that we've heard from Northlane from structure or anything. I feel like this song was much more dancey, vibey and emotional. And that's what I liked about it. Like the harmonic riff and the uh, synth pad that were kind of interplaying together in that main like riff section was cool. And then also the chorus was having two big sections. I really like the second half of the chorus when Marcus starts like belting out these words like I can't forget what I regret. Um, I just love the emotional weight to that. I'm glad that it came back for like the outro of the song, which probably was my favorite part of the song was the slow piano section and something about just Northlane kind of really expanding on the emotional weight to their music. Uh, I felt like was actually a big takeaway with the song. So I feel like this was a lot of word vomit, but at the end of the day, I did enjoy the song. I feel like it's going to be fits better in the context of a record, just like Obsidian did. But for now, my rating for this is going to be like a 7.8. And I do think that it's going to climb higher the more I listen to it. But right now, it's a 7.8. I do feel like the song's a grower, just like most of Obsidian for me. Obsidian, uh, as soon as I heard all the songs in context with the record and how it all fits together, I enjoyed all the songs so much more. Uh, but yeah, that is my thoughts on Northlane Dante. I'm curious to know what your thoughts are. So comment down below. Spice up my life. Guys, what you think of this song? I'd love to know. Also, if you got to this point in the video and haven't clicked off yet, then I appreciate you, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Feel free to leave a like to the video. But on that theme, tune in. Until next time. Peace.